This very old statue of Hercules had stood in the museum for over 50 years, but no one paid much attention to it due to the dark residue left after a lightning strike. However, when it was decided to remove the layer of wax applied during a previous restoration in the 19th century, a gilded coating was discovered beneath it. But the most astonishing discovery was a hole found by one of the restorers. Inside the statue was a cavity filled with scrolls containing dates and prophecies from the past. Inside, a 2,000-year-old lightning-struck statue lies a secret that could change history. And Google's most advanced quantum computer might be the key to unlocking it without ever touching the ancient bronze. In 2023, Vatican conservators made a stunning discovery. When they removed layers of 19th century wax from the colossal Hercules Mastai Rigetti statue, they revealed something extraordinary, pristine ancient gold gilding that had survived for millennia. But that's just the beginning. This 13-foot bronze colossus holds deeper secrets. Struck by lightning in ancient times, the Romans considered it divinely touched. They ritually buried it, a practice that inadvertently preserved its golden surface in remarkable condition. The inscription, F.C.S. Fulgur Conditum Semanium, confirms this wasn't just any statue. It was literally touched by the gods. Think about it. On one hand, you've got a colossal Roman statue, gold-covered, lightning-struck, buried for centuries. On the other, you've got Google's quantum core, the most advanced computer humanity has built. Today, we're putting these two worlds together. What connects them? Let's find out. Now, imagine what might be hidden inside this hollow bronze giant, and how the cutting-edge quantum technology developed by Google might reveal secrets that have remained sealed for centuries. This isn't wild speculation. It's where ancient mystery meets modern science. The question isn't just what's inside, but how we might unlock it without ever touching the statue. The secret inside question. During the Vatican's meticulous 2023 restoration of the Hercules statue, conservators noticed something unusual. As they cleaned away centuries of grime, they discovered not just the magnificent original gilding, but potential evidence of a sealed cavity within the bronze giant. This raised an electrifying question. Could ancient texts or objects be hidden inside this sacred colossus? Here's what makes this possibility so fascinating. All large bronze statues from antiquity are hollow by design. Ancient Roman sculptors used the lost wax casting method, creating these massive works around a clay core with internal support pins called chaplets. When a statue this size was completed, it would contain numerous hollow spaces, vents, and access points. Perfect hiding spots for something valuable or sacred. And there's a compelling precedent for this. Across cultures and throughout history, statues have served as more than just art. In Tibet and Nepal, Buddhist bronzes were routinely filled with consecration scrolls, written mantras, and sacred relics. Museums have documented dozens of these cases. Imagine an ancient text sealed away for two millennia, waiting to tell its story. The question of what might be inside becomes even more intriguing when you consider why this statue survived in such remarkable condition. The Romans buried it not by accident, but as a sacred ritual after it was struck by lightning, considered a divine touch from the gods. But here's where we face a challenge that has stopped researchers in their tracks. If something truly is sealed inside this priceless treasure, how could anyone possibly see it without damaging the irreplaceable bronze? The answer might lie in a technology that didn't exist until now. This is where modern physics collides with ancient mystery. The impossible becomes possible. The invisible becomes visible. Scientists now possess technology that can peer through solid metal without ever touching it. Think of it as a supercharged medical CT scan, but designed for ancient artifacts instead of human bodies. Two revolutionary technologies make this possible, high-energy X-ray tomography and neutron imaging. X-rays show us the dense metal structure, while neutrons excel at detecting organic materials, like papyrus or wood. Even when hidden behind bronze, these aren't theoretical tools. They've already rewritten history. At facilities like the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, researchers have used neutron beams to reveal hidden cores inside ancient bronzes mapping every interior detail without removing a single fragment.
But the most mind-blowing breakthrough came in 2023 with the Vesuvius Challenge. Scientists used CT scanning and machine learning to read actual text inside carbonized scrolls from Pompeii. Scrolls so fragile they would crumble at a touch. They recovered words written 2,000 years ago without unrolling a single page. Drop a comment right now with what you think might be hidden inside the Hercules statue. A sacred text? A ritual object? Something we can't even imagine. If you love seeing cutting-edge science meet ancient secrets, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next deep dive. Imagine sliding a statue of Hercules into a hospital-sized CT scanner. Every detail, down to sealed chambers, could be revealed. And if something's inside, the next step is virtual unwrapping. That's where things get even crazier. The technology exists today. The question is, what might we find? And this is where Google's quantum breakthrough enters the story. The quantum core. At Google's Quantum AI Lab, engineers have created something that defies our everyday understanding of physics. Their latest quantum processor, called Willow, is the successor to their groundbreaking Sycamore chip, and it represents a quantum leap in computing power. Think of regular computer bits as coins that are either heads or tails. Quantum bits, qubits, are like coins spinning in midair, existing as both heads and tails simultaneously. This isn't just theory, it's technology that exists right now. The quantum core is the heart of these processors, a chip operating at temperatures colder than deep space, just fractions of a degree above absolute zero. At this temperature, the laws of quantum physics take over, allowing calculations that would be impossible on any conventional computer. In 2024 to 2025, Google announced a breakthrough that sent shockwaves through the scientific community below threshold quantum error correction. For the first time, they demonstrated that as their quantum system scales up, errors actually decrease rather than multiply. This milestone is what scientists have been chasing for decades, proof that practical large-scale quantum computing is achievable. Why does this matter for our ancient statue? Because quantum systems excel at exactly the kind of massive computational challenges involved in reconstructing hidden texts. Imagine the complexity. First, you need to scan billions of data points from inside a bronze statue. Then, you must reconstruct any potential text layer by layer, distinguishing ink from papyrus, separating overlapping characters, and accounting for 2,000 years of degradation. It's not science fiction. Right now, AI already decoded sealed Herculaneum scrolls, revealing ancient Greek text that hadn't been read since Mount Vesuvius erupted. Quantum systems could one day supercharge that process, handling computational problems that would overwhelm even our most powerful supercomputers. So, here's the question. Could a chip designed to calculate the impossible help us read what no human eye has seen in 2,000 years? It sounds wild, but this is exactly the kind of challenge quantum cores were built to tackle. The potential of combining these technologies is staggering, but what might these hidden texts contain? The answer lies in understanding why this statue was so special in the first place. We started with a statue struck by lightning. So, what if there really were scrolls inside this ancient bronze giant? What might they contain? The answer could be more fascinating than anything Hollywood would dream up. Based on Roman religious practices and archaeological evidence, scholars point to several historically plausible possibilities. First, and most captivating, would be a brontoscopic calendar. These were ancient Etruscan texts, later adopted by Romans, that provided day-by-day -day interpretations of thunder omens. Imagine if the statue struck by a thunderbolt carried inside it a manual for interpreting thunder itself. The connection would be extraordinary, a lightning-touch statue housing the very wisdom about divine lightning. The surviving example we know of came from Nigidius Figulus, a Roman scholar and friend of Cicero, preserved through the writings of John Lydus. Each day of the year had its specific thunder interpretation, some foretelling abundance, others warning of disaster. Second, the cavity might contain sorties, tokens or excerpted verses used for divination. Romans regularly practiced bibliomancy, drawing lots to divine the future. The famous Sortes Virgilianae used random passages from Virgil's Aeneid to foretell destiny. 
Finding such objects inside would reveal intimate details of Roman religious practice. The emotional weight of such a discovery would be overwhelming. These wouldn't just be artifacts, they would be direct connections to how ancient Romans understood their relationship with the divine, preserved in a moment of religious awe when lightning struck their sacred statue. Even the most practical possibility, dedication plaques or inventory notes, would revolutionize our understanding. These might record who commissioned the statue, which god it truly represents, or details of the lightning strike itself. Before we reveal what cutting-edge imaging might actually show, I want to hear from you. What would you expect to find inside a Roman statue ritually buried after being struck by lightning? A prophecy? A dedication to Jupiter? Secret religious texts? Tell us in the comments before we explore how quantum technology might finally answer this question. The truth might be even more fascinating than anything we've imagined. The Testing Pipeline if something is hidden inside this lightning-struck colossus, how would scientists actually find it? The answer is a cutting-edge sequence of non-destructive technologies that sound like science fiction but exist today. Step 1. Neutron Imaging Unlike X-rays, neutron beams penetrate metal easily, but stop at organic materials like papyrus or wood. Scientists at facilities like the Paul Scherer Institute have already used this technology on ancient bronzes. Picture a ghostly image appearing, showing organic shadows inside solid metal. Step 2. High-energy CT scanning creates thousands of cross-sectional images. Powerful computers then reconstruct the statue's complete internal geometry. Every void, every sealed chamber, every hidden space, with sub-millimeter precision. Step 3. If organic materials are detected, the same virtual unwrapping technology that decoded the Herculaneum scrolls takes over. AI algorithms recognize subtle ink traces and reconstruct text that hasn't seen light for millennia. The Vesuvius challenge proved this works, revealing actual Greek words written before Mount Vesuvius erupted. But here's where quantum technology adds something revolutionary. Diamond N V-Center Magnetometry. This quantum sensing technique maps subtle magnetic variations without touching the statue. It can detect minute differences in magnetic fields created by different materials, potentially flagging sealed chambers before more intensive scanning begins. For the first time in history, we might be able to open a statue without ever opening it. Think of it like an MRI for history. No chisels, no drills, no damage. Just beams, magnets, and math peeling away 2,000 years of mystery, one invisible layer at a time. The implications reach far beyond this single statue. Every ancient bronze, every sealed artifact around the world suddenly becomes a potential time capsule waiting to be read. Imagine what secrets might be unlocked, not just in the Vatican's Hercules, but in thousands of artifacts we thought we already understood. So, what's the secret inside Hercules? And why does it matter today? The truth is, we don't yet know for certain what's inside. No definitive scans have been performed. But the potential discovery represents something far more significant than just an archaeological curiosity. Every time we uncover these ancient secrets, we rewrite our understanding of human history. The pristine gilding already discovered on this statue has shattered assumptions about Roman metallurgical capabilities. Imagine what texts from inside might reveal about their spiritual beliefs, their scientific understanding, or their relationship with natural phenomena. Secrets like these aren't just whispers from the past. They're lessons about how humans saw fate, nature, and even lightning itself. A brontoscopic calendar would reveal how Romans interpreted thunder as divine communication. Ritual texts would illuminate spiritual practices we've only glimpsed through fragmented records. This fusion of quantum technology and archaeology connects us to our ancestors in ways previously impossible. For the first time, we can access information sealed away for millennia without disturbing the artifacts that contain them. And if quantum cores really do become part of archaeology, it means the next generation won't just dig with shovels, they'll dig with supercomputers. Your children might live in a world where museums routinely reveal hidden chambers and artifacts we've displayed for centuries thinking we knew everything about them. 
This changes everything about how we preserve and study our past. Every ancient hollow object becomes a potential time capsule. Every sealed chamber becomes a possible library of lost knowledge. The quantum revolution isn't just about faster computers or better encryption. It's about revealing the invisible, making the past speak again after thousands of years of silence. Now that we've explored the possibilities, let's ground ourselves in what we know for certain about this remarkable statue. The Hercules Mastai Righetti stands an imposing 13 feet tall in the round hall of the Vatican Museums. Rediscovered in 1864 during excavations in Rome, it was acquired by Pope Pius IX and has fascinated visitors ever since. For over 150 years, this colossus was covered in a dull 19th century wax coating that masked its true glory. The 2023 restoration revealed something astonishing. Original mercury gilding in near-perfect condition, preserved for two millennia. The inscription FCS, Fulgur Conditum Sumanium, tells us why this preservation miracle occurred. The Romans ritually buried the statue after it was struck by lightning, considering it divinely touched. This religious act inadvertently created a time capsule, sealing away the golden surface from oxygen and moisture. What makes this story truly extraordinary isn't just what might be inside, it's that we now possess the technology to find out without risking damage to this irreplaceable treasure. The toolkit of neutron imaging, CT scanning, AI-powered virtual unwrapping and emerging quantum technologies represents a revolution in how we study the past. These methods don't just apply to one statue. They could unlock secrets and artifacts around the world. Whether or not scrolls are found inside, the real story is that humanity now has the tools to answer these mysteries without breaking a single piece of history. This is archaeology's quantum leap. If you enjoyed this journey into ancient secrets and future tech, Hit subscribe so you don't miss what's uncovered next. We began with a statue, a thunderbolt, and a rumor. We end with the most advanced technology on Earth, poised to uncover whatever secrets lie sealed in bronze. History and the future have never been this close together. Oh.